everyone. I'm Jaydeep Singh Chahil. So behind us, we have uh, Akshay's Jimny, the one we've lifted with the spacer and uh, we've installed the 265-65 R17 on 9J 17-inch wheels. So uh, this is the first in the group to get a full exhaust setup uh, to be installed. So the installation is still in process. Nothing much to see there. We'll cover the details in a bit. Uh, till then, I'll quickly show you. Uh, uh, for a lot of my friends who might not be fully aware about uh, how an exhaust works or what all goes in an exhaust system. So since we've got the entire exhaust pulled out and uh, on on uh, right here in front of us, so I can actually easily brief you through what all is included in a full exhaust setup and what all are we going to change. So the exhaust that we've taken up is a full set from the headers till the tip. Uh, from Automec, we've been using their exhausts from ages. I, I think uh, back in 2004-05 when uh, we had the Esteem and then the Honda City VTEC. Uh, a lot of people who would relate to NA petrol vehicles would uh, really understand what these vehicles meant for that time. So we used to have a petrol Honda City VTEC with the full exhaust from Automec and a few other goodies, bored out throttle bodies and a lot of other stuff. Uh, same with the Gypsy that we have, that also is running a full automatic exhaust. So these guys, they've been in the trade since ages and anything that they make is super reliable and you know, the, the quality of work is amazing. So for this one, we've got a full SS, that is stainless steel uh, exhaust and a lot of technical terms coming in, but I'll brief you through what all uh, is there in the kit. So with us, we've got one, two, three, and four major components with the fifth, that being the heat shield of the stock exhaust. So uh, what we'll start with is, so this bit that you see right here, this is, this is basically two things merged into one. This is a header. A header is like this, this you see right here, one, two, three, and four. These are the four pipes, I would say, that go and fit in front of your four exhaust ports. So it's an inline four engine, so four exhaust ports, so four, so one, two, three, four, and it collects. So this part is called the collector and it merges into a single pipe. So this is a four into one exhaust. So this merges into uh, the single downpipe, which will enter the, the smaller bit there that we'll, we'll get to later on. So this round thing here is what you call a catcon or a catalytic converter. Uh, we all might have heard that a lot, uh, you know, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a term that became very common in the last 4-5 years. Uh, this is for the vehicle to comply with the Euro 6 norms or the BS 6 norms. BS 4 also required catalytic converters, but it's become very, very strict in the new ones. So, the Jimny, as you know, is an NA, that is a naturally aspirated, uh, that means it's a non-turbo petrol inline 4 1500cc engine. So this is the catalytic converter. So while uh, this is what you call the primary catcon. So a catalytic converter is actually a device which will help you the, the unfriendly gases, I would say something majorly that is the carbon monoxide. It helps to oxidize that, that is add oxygen for all of us who studied science. It makes CO into CO2 under a lot of heat. So the CO2, even though CO2 is not that great of a gas itself, but it, the negative effects of CO2 are not as much as the CO. Carbon monoxide is actually something which is poisonous. So it turns an unfriendly gas into something friendlier with the help of, uh, it's got something you call heavy metals, heavy and expensive as well. So catcons are very expensive. So it's got metals like palladium, uh, I believe rhodium is there as well and uh, platinum platinum as gold and platinum as we all know platinum is pretty expensive so this has uh, trace amounts of those uh, made in something like a honeycomb mesh so when the hot carbon monoxide passes through this mesh it actually gets in contact with the rare metals and the heavy metals present and it oxidizes so that's that's summing it up in a, in a very simple manner so another thing another term that a lot of us might have heard is uh, an O2 sensor or a lambda sensor. So this right here, uh, 
the thread you can see or the bung, uh, this is the lambda sensor bung, this is the primary lambda. So uh, the lambda roughly, I would say a lambda sensor is something uh, which gets the calculation or which gets the reading for the amount of oxygen that is there in the exhaust gas when it touches the lambda and passes. Okay. So uh, the reason I'm getting into so much detail is that uh, things in terms that seem very difficult and fancy when referred to by people is actually very simple science. So this is your exhaust that is the waste burnt gases are going to go through here, collect right here and touch the lambda and pass through. The lambda, I'll try to show you the lambda as well. It looks like a spark plug with a wire attached on top. So it will pass through here. So this primary lambda is going to give us the reading of the amount of oxygen that is present in the outgoing gases. Okay. So what happens here is this will send a reading to the ECU uh, that okay this much oxygen is coming right before the catcon. So this is called the lambda number one or the primary lambda. So this bit right here uh, will go and join this. So it sits like this. The engine is in a, this type of an orientation. So it goes and joins this bit. So once it gets bolted into this bit, this is our uh, secondary catcon. So that is catcon number one. This is catcon number two. There's like a foot, foot and a half of distance. And that air goes through catcon number two. This is just a connecting pipe. This is also called the down tube. A lot of names. So if you can see, you will notice a similar bung here as well. This is for the secondary lambda or lambda number two. So the interesting thing that happens here is you get two types of readings. One is the amount of oxygen that is there right at the exit of the exhaust. That is the amount of oxygen which came there and has entered the exhaust. After that, you will see it goes through catcon number one, goes through catcon number two, and we get another reading for oxygen here. Okay. So the difference in oxygen. So firstly, if there is too much oxygen coming out, means the amount of fuel supplied is unable to burn all of it. Okay. So it needs to supply a little more fuel. And this is like in fractions of milliseconds, like thousandth part of a second, it is going to adjust the fueling or the amount of fuel going through your injectors at that point of time. This secondary lambda, the secondary lambda is going to give you a difference that how much oxygen you had before the catcon and how much oxygen is left after the catcon. So that gives you the conversion factor of how much oxid oxidization has been able to take place. That kindly, that kind of actually shows you the amount of success you've had in saving the environment and converting some uh, unfriendly gases into friendlier gases. And after this comes uh, this bit right here. So this bit is actually going to fit into this in this kind of a shape. And this is your regular muffler. This will eliminate sound. This is the primary muffler, you can see. This is also called a flame catcher. A lot of different names for this one as well. So the flame catcher is going to uh, primarily prevent um, as the name suggests, flames going out in the back and also the drone. The drone drone is something like, let's say you've got a full exhaust, you're driving at a specific speed. Uh, you'll keep here a humming sound of the exhaust that actually becomes a headache after a while. So this eliminates that drone. And from here, uh, it, it fits this way. And this interesting hoop, this hoop bend helps the exhaust, uh, helps the exhaust pipe route um, over your uh, rear differential tube and clear it. So it, it leaves you with space for articulation as well. And in the end is this big heavy, uh, this is the secondary muffler. This has tons of glass wool stuffed into that, that much space. And this is what actually quietens your, uh, uh, that, this is what quietens the entire exhaust system. And makes the Jimny, stock Jimny sound like a nice refrigerator. That's all the sound is there. We thought of doing a video of uh, how a stock Jimny sounds, but there was practically nothing to record. So that's about it. 
and now i would like to bring your attention to uh, you know this foil paper like thing but it shows the amount of depth uh, you know the japanese go into and the kind of r and beautiful r and d that goes into these kind of things so this is what you call this is a uh, this is a plate or a cover for the header so this plate sits like this this is that in case you open the engine bay you don't touch the extremely hot uh, you know uh, exhaust manifold or your cables don't fly around or touch that because this will definitely melt the cables or burn your hands so it even has a hot warning so the little thing i would like to bring your notice to is the washers in this one are floating so the bolts go through this and it bolts on to the exhaust manifold it is in something like uh, it's in a metal bit because this gets extremely hot you can't have a rubber washer or a rubber bushing so it's got like you know the scotch bright thing we use at home it's got something like that and the washers are floating so it's people into motorcycles you'll understand it's something like a floating disc setup and this little ring around the thing acts as an insulator and doesn't let the heat conduct from the exhaust manifold into this little plate so that in, even though the vehicle is super hot this plate will still probably maintain temperatures that won't burn your fingers off your hands so it's it's these little details that look really really amazing so all of the science but what is happening is we are taking all of it off all of that is coming off and we have gotten ourselves a 4 into 1 exhaust we'll quickly uh take you there so another thing that i actually wanted to show you was so in the jimny the first problem that we faced was that the rear exhaust muffler is placed in such a way it actually sits here so since it sits here the end of your ladder frame is occupied and there is no provision to actually make a neat k section for a towing bar so what is going to happen with this is with that muffler gone off i'll quickly show you uh, the kind of exhaust we are going for uh, this entire space is now nice and empty and we can do a nice concealed towing bar setup that will pop out of here and the number plate is going to go inside the tire just like a regular jeep or uh, those other setups so the exhaust that we have i'll be, i know there will there'll be a lot of people saying that it's a g wagon look alike or it's a g wagon wanna be g wagon nothing like that we just wanted space for the towing bar so now to the interesting bit uh so this is the exhaust coming from the front so it's a long tube uh we'll show you the long tube in a while after they're done fitting it so this pipe is coming it goes into a big muffler even though uh you know the routing has been changed the the final length of the pipe is still the same or i i believe even longer so the back pressure is going to be pretty decent so it's going in there that way and right here and coming out of the side so the the fitting is pretty much similar to uh what we had on the on the Nissan Patrol as well so even that has a side exhaust so this is a complete ss this is a complete stainless steel set no issues of rusting and this is going to outlive the vehicle technically uh, once they're done installing we'll brief you through the entire set and also show you the beautiful 4 uh, into 2 into 1 that's the difference that's a 4 into 1 because it goes like this and then there's a single pipe this is more of a 4 into 2 and then a single pipe so the four headers merge into two and those two merge into one collector so that gets you better performance as well so uh so it's going to be pretty interesting because this exhaust is going to stick out here and uh, should sound nice and drive even better so we'll quickly uh, get to that once the work in the front is done and then I'll, I'll show you how it's routed thank you so quickly trying to show you how the exhaust has been mated uh this pipe right here we'll get to that when we cover from the top that's four going into two still into two so this becomes the long tube it doesn't merge till here and then it makes a y and then it becomes a 4 into 2 into 1 right here so this is the down tube this is what you can call the y pipe the collector if you can see it forms something like a y and 
then this is a neat uh, two inch 51 mm uh, pipe that goes here mates once this is this is one piece that was the second piece this is piece number three this is piece number four so the exhaust comes in complete four pieces very neat plumbing and very very good quality so now we'll quickly lower it and now it's time to see how it sounds so and of course how those tips look on the side so we have to get this thing off the lift now and then see how it does So this is two days after the last recording was done, uh, a couple of uh, hiccups, we got busy in some other vehicles as well. So now finally, if you can see, we've got to see the headers and the colour will tell you that we have managed to drive it quite a bit. They're supposed to go blue in a while, nice tinge of golden right now and this is the lambda or the O2 sensor that I was talking about. So this is the first lambda that I showed you in the stock exhaust. So this is where that sits. That is the collector down there and the other one goes below that. So this hair is complete and if you can come to the side, I'll show you uh, those wheels if you remember. The black and silver wheels have now been painted in a beautiful shade of grey and it is looking very very nice. So I'll quickly start the vehicle and you'll get to hear a little how, the, uh, how it sounds and uh, there you go. So now, uh, as you can see, uh, there's hardly any annoying sound coming from the exhaust. The, there's no drone as such, it's got a very nice flame catcher as I showed you, uh, there's a muffler as well. So the only sound you hear is when you're revving the vehicle. This won't be annoying at all and it will be very very comfortable to live with this exhaust, not only for the driver but for others around you as well. So the whole idea of getting this is the enhancement and performance and of course uh, the space that I showed you with Claire's in the back. So that being there, uh, lots more to happen with this Jimny just like the other ones. The suspension comes in in another week or 10 days time. So it will be lifted the right way after that. Then the snorkel, bumper, lights and a whole lot of stuff, maybe a winch as well and a rear towing point. I'll cover that separately. So. That's about it. I'll keep you posted about the modifications as they progress. Thank you.